Hi, fourth grade. Welcome back to your math lessons. This week, we're going to begin working on chapter 22, which is all about solid figures. Before you view this lesson, please make sure that you've watched the introduction video from YouTube that I included on Class Dojo. This will be important to get an overall understanding of this lesson before we begin. So if you haven't watched that already, pause the video, go over to that link, watch the introduction, and then come back here. Once you're ready, let's take down some vocabulary for your journals. Open up your textbooks to page 566. Open up your journals and label them 22.1, faces, edges, and vertices. And you can start copying down these vocabulary words. If you'd rather pause the video and then hear me explain, you can do that as you write, or you can write as I talk. Either one is fine with me. We're going to be talking about solid figures today, and here are some important vocabulary words that you need to know in order to understand today's lesson. The first vocabulary word that I'd like you to write down is the word face. Now, we're not talking about a happy face or a sad face. We're talking about a flat surface. So when you hear that word face today, we're talking about the flat surface of a solid figure. These flat surfaces are often in the shapes that we have recognized since we were infants crawling on the ground, like circles, squares, triangles, rectangles. Those are the flat surfaces that make up solid figures. Now, a solid figure um, and its flat, face, flat surfaces are part of what makes it up, but sometimes they also have curved surfaces, like a sphere and a cone. So just be aware that if the surface is curved, it's not called a face. A face is only the flat surface on a solid figure. Then we have the vocabulary word edge. An edge is made where two faces meet and a line segment is formed by this meeting. So make sure that you underline this word faces. It has to be where two faces meet. Now, there was one part of the video, intro video that I had you watch that was not correct. Um, the man in giving the instructions said the point where a cone has a one flat surface, which is a face. It has one circle face. And he described the place where the curved surface and the face were meeting. He described that as an edge, but this is actually not an edge. A cone doesn't have any edges because it only has one face. So I just wanted to make that correction for you. A an edge is only made when two faces meet. So cones don't have any edges, neither do spheres, because those do not have enough faces to or flat surfaces for them to meet. Next vocabulary word that we're going to talk about is a vertex. A vertex, you can think of this like a corner. It's where three or more edges meet. So again, this has to be, remember an edge is where two faces meet. So vertexes are only made when those flat surfaces are meeting and it's at least three of them. So another good example of what is not a vertex, this top of the cone, this point that is made is not made by three faces meeting. It's made by a curved surface. So that point is called a point, not a vertex. A vertex would be, for example, on a cube where three faces are meeting. For example, right here, we have this face, this face, and the face on the side that meet to form that point. Then we have the next vocabulary word, which is base. The base is the top or bottom of a 3D figure. Um, the base of a 3D figure is responsible for naming prisms and pyramids. So for example, if the face of a pyramid is a square, then it's called a square pyramid. Or if the base of a prism is a rectangle, it's called a rectangular prism. So this word base, you only really need to be aware of it when we're talking about prisms and pyramids. Now, if that wasn't enough time to get these vocabulary words jotted down into your journals, please pause the video so you can get them written down and then we'll continue. All right, we're gonna start off by just 
practicing drawing these 3D figures and listing out how many faces, edges, and vertices that they have. This will be really important as you go into your lesson. It would be a good key to have on hand. So let's begin with a cube. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a cube. You can start by drawing a square and then draw two parallel lines coming out from the top two corners. Then you're going to draw a parallel line to the side coming down. Then a parallel line from that corner connecting to the other and it should be parallel with that top line that we drew. Then we're gonna draw across the top a parallel line across the back that is parallel with that front side. A cube is a six-sided figure. Um, we can only see part of the sides when we're drawing the figure. That's why um, a lot of times you'll see these dotted lines to show you, hey, there's more faces on the other side. So a cube, um, let's talk about the faces. We'll get this labeled faces, edges, vertices. Uh, one vertex is called a vertex and multiple are called vertices. So a cube has uh, six faces and it has lots of edges that are made from those faces meeting. So let's count them all. It has, I'm going to draw over my original one. It has one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to go across the next side. Five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 edges total. And it also is going to have many vertices. So I'm going to do that in a different color so you can see. I'm going to just trace over all of the vertices. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 across the top. And 1, 2, 3, 4 across the bottom, making a total of 8 vertices. So a cube has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Okay, next we have a rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism is drawn in a very similar way to a, a cube, except we need a rectangular face. So start off with a rectangle instead of a square. Then again, uh, draw two parallel lines coming off the top corners. Uh, one parallel, a parallel line connecting those that connects with the top of the rectangle. One parallel line coming down parallel with the side. One parallel line coming out connecting with the other side. And then you can draw dotted lines down to show that, hey, there's more sides back here. All right, so similar, very similar to a cube. A rectangular prism also has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Still has um, the same amount as a cube, even though the faces are different. All right, next we have a triangular prism. Now this one is going to change in the faces, edges, and vertices because the basis of this prism is a triangle. So it has one less side for each base than a rectangle. Rectangles have four sides, triangles have three sides. So we're, we're going to see that this triangular prism is going to have less faces, edges, or er, less faces, edges, and vertices. So um, let's begin uh, this prism. We're going to start drawing this a little bit differently. We're gonna draw a rectangle for its facing side. Um, this is not its base though. Its base is going to be a triangle. So what we're gonna do is on top of that re rectangle, we're gonna do our best to draw a triangle on top of it. And now the rest of the lines are actually hidden lines. So we're gonna draw from the tip of the triangle, draw a dotted line coming down um, about halfway through that rectangle and then draw a, two other dotted triangle lines showing that the underside is also a triangle. So 
Uh, triangular prisms have, um, let's count the faces. We have a, two bases that are triangles, so that's two, the top and the bottom. And then we have three sides that are rectangles. So two and three is five, it has five faces. Let's count the edges, I'll trace over the main figure so you can see. We have three for the top triangle, so three. Two for those sides of that rectangle, four, five. Six for the bottom, seven, eight, and nine. Nine edges. And we are going to count the vertices next. I'll use my red to show you that. Remember, vertices are where three or more faces are meeting. It's the corners that are made. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six vertices. All right, next we're going to draw a square pyramid. A square pyramid gets its name for its base that is a square. Remember, that's um, important for pyramids and prisms. They're named by their base. So for this one, what we're going to do is we are going to draw um, two triangles that are coming off at a right angle, which is formed from square corners. So since this is a triangular prism, um, that's going to be important for um, us to have a, a right angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing that right angle, but I'm going to do it almost in like a diamond, how a diamond is crooked um, for that bottom. And then I'm going to draw a straight line coming um, in between that right angle and I'll connect the triangle lines there and then we're going to want to draw those hidden lines by drawing from the corners of those triangles dots to show hey there's a square under here okay and then um, one more slightly dotted line there to show that that is a square connecting back there okay so for this pyramid um, let's count the faces so we have the square on the bottom and then from each square is going to come a triangle. From each side of the square is going to come a triangle. So there's four triangles total, the two that we can see and the two that are on the back that we can't see. So there's four triangle faces and one square face. So that is five faces total. And um, let's count the edges. I'll trace over those. So we have three for each um, triangle that we can see one two three four five and then the one in the back makes six and then the extra two that we can't see the squares seven eight so there are eight edges and there are let's count the vertices now remember a vertice is where three or more faces are edges are uh, three or more edges are meeting so we have this one at the top. Now that point at the top is a vertice because it's being created through flat faces coming to a meeting point. So we have the one at the top and then we have the four on the bottom where the square is. So one and four is five. So that means we have five vertices total. Uh, rectangular pyramid is exactly the same. So we're not gonna draw that out. Um, it's the only difference is the bottom is a rectangle. We're going to skip that one. Last one we are going to draw is a triangular pyramid. So to do that, just draw a nice triangle and then we're going to draw the rest of the sides being hidden. So we're going to do a dotted line straight down, um, and then two dotted lines coming out showing that a triangle is at the base. So because a triangle is at the base, that means there's one triangle at the bottom and then one triangle coming off of each side of that base. So a triangle has three sides. So that means there's three triangles on top of that base. So three and one is four. That means there are four faces to that triangular pyramid. Um, I will now trace over the edges so you can see. So we very clearly have those three that we can see and then we have three that are hidden, one at the back and then two more for the base. So three and three is six. A triangular pyramid has six edges. 
and it has, um, let's count the vertices where three or more uh, faces are meeting. It has one at the top and three at the bottom. One and three is four, so there are four total. All right, let's also talk about cones, cylinders, and spheres. So we're gonna keep drawing those as well. If you wanna continue adding on to your list, I've just run out of room. So I'm gonna make my uh, chart again, faces, edges, and vertices. Okay, so let's start drawing a cylinder first. A cylinder has uh, two bases that are both circles. So how we draw this is we're gonna start at the top, we're gonna draw kind of an oval shape. Um, now this is actually a circle if you were to look at it head on, but because it's 3D we have to draw it um, to imagine it that way. We're going to draw two parallel lines coming down. And then we're gonna end with a curved line and then we're gonna continue a dotted curve to the back to show that that is hidden. A cylinder has two faces that are circles. So it has two faces and for these we're gonna actually draw them, two faces that are circles. Um, because it has uh, two faces that are circles but they're not meeting, the rest of it is a curved surface. The rest of it is a curved surface. So it's not, even though this part here, let me trace over this in red, where this is meeting with our top face, this first part is not a flat surface. So I can't call that an edge. It has no edges because two faces don't meet. So it has zero edges, nada, nothing. And it also, as a result, has no vertices. Let's draw a cone next. So a cone, we're gonna again draw a um, triangle type shape, but at the bottom we're going to do it curved. And then we're gonna continue that curve backwards in a dotted line to show that that part is hidden. A cone has one face that is a circle and it's at the bottom of its base. Because it only has one face and no, uh, nothing lines up, um, it has no edges. And as a result, it also has no vertices. That tip at that top is called a point, not a vertice. Uh, and then we have a sphere. So go ahead and draw a circle. And to show that this is three-dimensional, draw a curved line from the top to the bottom, a curved line from the left to the right, and then a dotted line to continue those loops. This just shows, hey, this is a three-dimensional object. Um, spheres have no faces, no edges, and no vertices. They're just made up of a curved surface. All right, we're going to continue now with some practice. Um, so keep this, uh, those notes handy. You'll need those um, to give you some guidance. So uh, let's talk about number one coming from your textbook. What is the base of this solid figure that is seen? Are the faces rectangles or triangles and name the solid figure? So remember the base is at the bottom or top or both. So I see at the bottom of this figure here, I see three sides. What shape has three sides? A triangle. So for number one, the first answer is the base is a triangle. Uh, next question, are the faces rectangles or triangles? So the base is a triangle. The other faces that I see, if it has a triangle at its base, then to build off of this, we also have to have triangles coming off of this so that when it all folds up, it folds up into a pyramid. So the base is a triangle and also the faces are also triangles. We can also see this from the picture. I can see each face, if I trace over it, has three sides. 
three-sided figures I know are triangles. So the faces are also triangles. And uh, last name, the solid figure. So remember, pyramids and prisms are named by their base. So this base is made with a triangle, So, and it's forming a pyramid because it only has one face. Um, prisms have, or sorry, not one face, it has one base. Prisms have a top and a bottom base. Pyramids only have a bottom, a bottom base. So the name of this is a triangular because of the base triangular pyramid all right we're going to read about some solid figures that are being described and try to name what they are so this is where our list will come in handy that we just took down together so number two we need to name something with 12 edges. Now this is a lot of edges. The figure that we took notes on that has the most edges were our uh, cube or our rectangular prism. So both of those have 12 edges. So either of those answers would be fine. Um, let's write down cube or rectangular prism. Uh, number three. Which figure has four vertices? So let's take a look back at our figures that have four vertices is going to be our pyramid. Now, not just any pyramid, but in, uh, in particular, our triangular pyramid has four vertices because it has the three at the bottom with the triangle uh, base and then the one that's made at the tip. So our triangular pyramid has four base at uh, four vertices. Number four, which has fewer than six faces, fewer than six faces. So definitely those ones that we talked about from uh, cylinders, cones, and spheres, those all have very few faces. So those three, let's check out the other ones. Um, also, our pyramids have fewer than six faces and our triangular prism. So wow, we have a lot that have fewer than six faces. We have triangular prisms only have five. Rectangular pyramids have five. Triangular pyramids have four. And then our cylinders uh, have two. Cones have one and spheres have none. So we have six total that we need to name here. Fewer than six faces. Uh, let's see if we can remember them all. So uh, cones, spheres, and um, what was the other one? Cones, spheres, and cylinders. And then we also had triangular pyramid. Also, we had, I'm going to also just add in here rectangular as well. And then we also had triangular. -ism. We also had a square pyramid. Okay, so in summary, lots of solid figures that only have um, less than six faces. So cones have two, uh, have one, spheres have none, cylinders have two, triangular, square, and rectangular pyramids all have less than six, and triangular prisms. So this list is coming hugely in handy Make sure that you have good notes taken down so that you have that on hand so you don't have to go through the process of thinking through that every time. Okay, and then last, um, which figure has one circular base? So that's going to definitely be from the second set of notes we took. One circular base is our cone, only has one circle at the bottom. 
cylinders do have circular faces, but um, those are, there's two of them. So the one that only has one is the cone. All right, the next practice that we're going to do is actually coming from the RW side of today's lesson. So if you wanted to pull that out and fill it out on there, you can, or you can just continue taking notes in your journal. So um, coming from RW uh, for 22.1, uh, it says to name a solid figure that is described. So we're going to keep that practice going. Um, what has five faces? Well, there were a couple things that had five faces that we just reviewed. I'll go back to my chart for you. We had um, two things that we took notes on that had five faces. Um, triangular uh, prisms have five faces. Also, square and rectangular pyramids have five faces as well. <coughs> so any of those answers would suffice. Um, I'm going to write um, square pyramid and rectangular pyramid. But there's others as well. All right, number two, something that has four faces only. So that would be our triangular um, pyr uh, pyramid would only have four faces because it has the one triangle at the bottom and then three uh, triangular faces on the side. So triangular pyramid only has four faces. Uh, number three, something that has all square faces. Super easy. You see them all the time like dice. Those are cubes. All squares is a, a cube. Number four, something that has eight edges. So again, let's go back to our notes. Something that has eight edges was our rectangular or our square pyramids. Both have eight edges. Number four, something that has only four vertices. Again, this would be our triangular um, pyramid, the three at the bottom with the triangle and the one at the top would have four um, vertices. Um, everything else has more than that. So the only acceptable answer for that would be our triangular pyramid. Wow, this is a popular figure for this page. I feel like I've written triangular pyramid a whole bunch. Okay, and then something that has all rectangular faces. So um, similar to the cube, um, this would be a prism, but it has all rectangular faces. So it would be a rectangular what? Prism. A rectangular prism would have all rectangle faces. All right, lots of vocabulary again today, you guys. Um, thanks for staying with me. If you did not get a chance to get those down well in your notes, please make sure that you write down those charts from the beginning. You need to know the faces, edges, and vertices. Um, also, rewatching that uh, video link that I sent to Class Dojo a couple times with the intro would be helpful for you as well because um, those figures are broken down and expanded out so you can see the faces. Um, so that would be a good visual for you to have. Um, definitely take a look at that if you haven't done so already. For today's lesson uh, practice, you're going to do 22.1 PW. You're going to solve the whole page. Um, you're going to use this answer key after you finish your work um, to see how you're doing. We will Zoom on Wednesday, which is tomorrow at 11 a.m., um, so come ready with questions. Um, please be aware that for this second section down here um, on your work page, it's a bit of a review, so you might need to take out your notes from the previous lessons about parallel and perpendicular lines. So good work today. Thanks for all uh, your hard work and dedication. I'm proud of you, and I can't wait to see you Wednesday.